Story MFG has become one of the most popular streetwear brands in the niche menswear streetwear kind of category. I see it everywhere on Fashion Talk. I see a few people on YouTube, namely CRD and Drew Joyner, showing love to Story MFG and bringing their garments into the spotlight, which they rightfully deserve. Story MFG is a brand that is dedicated to eco-sustainability when creating and manufacturing their garments. But not just that, because it doesn't stop there. They also pride themselves in Indian manufacturing with traditional hand weaving and manufacturing techniques techniques such as hand loomed fabrics, natural dyes, and also primarily using washing and finishing methods that are non-toxic and not harmful to the skin. Basically Story MFG was started by a husband and wife who really pride themselves in creating beautiful garments that are meant to last, that are perfectly safe for the skin, and have very little to no impact on the environment. They also use packaging materials that are compostable and that leave a very little footprint when it comes to environmental safety. And basically I love the unique aesthetic, their bright use of vibrant colors, very easy, loose, baggy silhouettes, and they have this really kind of very easy, relaxed, hippie kind of style, which falls in line with kind of what I've been feeling recently, and they use a wide variety of dyeing techniques, such as discharge dyes, eye cat dyes, tie dyes, and so on. There's so many different techniques that they use to achieve a truly beautiful and masterfully crafted garment. Basically, in the past couple of months, I have made three purchases from Story MFG, namely my terroir Sunday jacket, which is a beautiful jacket that is comprised of a bunch of different hand loomed fabrics that are dyed with differing natural indigos with different origins, which give each and every panel a different unique kind of greenish tint, purplish tint, reddish tint, and they're all gonna die down so beautifully and individually. And this is honestly one of my most unique and favorite denim jackets that I've ever owned. Even though it's not a traditional denim, my second purchase was the Story MFG piece pants in an ecru or raw cotton colorway and basically I never owned a pair of cargo pants ever in my life and to be honest with these pants they made me realize what I had been missing out on and then after that I made the third step and I wanted a nice indigo pair of pants that was gonna die down just like any other pair of raw denim from Story MFG so basically the hand loomed pant that I had wanted ended up unfortunately being sold out so I looked everywhere all over the internet I couldn't find one I was even willing to pay secondhand prices so then I started researching searching other Story MFG jeans. So ultimately, I stumbled upon the very last pair of the Story MFG Natural Indigo Chambray on Farfetch. While it was pricey, it wasn't as pricey as I thought it was gonna be because I was assuming I was gonna pay aftermarket prices. I paid about 350, I think, which yes, it is expensive for a pair of pants. But to be honest, when I got these jeans in, while it's not a traditional denim and they're not really heavy, the fit, the look, the details, the stitching, everything about this jean I just fell in love with. And I think that the shine and the beautiful vibrancy of the natural indigo is truly gonna fade down and show its age in such an extravagant way. So let's start off with the Story MFG Peace Pants. When I first got these pants in, I was truly impressed at just how smooth and soft the natural cotton was gonna feel because a lot of times I've had undyed and natural raw cotton pants and shirts before and they were a little rough they were a little rugged but these actually feel while still a little bit on the rugged yet durable kind of side they're very soft and very easily wearable and honestly it's just a really super clean fabric I've already worn these and washed these quite a few times and they hold up very well in the wash which means that they're definitely engineered to last they have a beautiful easy zipping YKK zipper and a gorgeous white I believe it's vegetable ivory button and one of my favorite things about story MFG's pants is that pretty much all of them have have a drawstring waistband which makes life so easy. Some days I like to wear them higher than others because I want a cropped kind of look. Some days I want them to sit low on the waist. The waistband gives that flexibility for you to be able to wear the pant higher waisted or lower waisted, making the pant either hit the shoe or sit above the shoes. And I love that flexibility with these pants. Both the side pockets have snap buttons that are also produced by YKK, which I didn't even know they made until I got this pant, which means that you're gonna keep your belongings very secure Secure. And I just think that's a very smart and very intentional detail that showcases the construction knowledge and garment knowledge that Story MFG has. The pant feels a little bit on the lighter side of mid-weight, which means that you could probably get away with this all the way up until the later fall. But in the winter, it might be a little tough. I'm gonna try it. Either way, this was released during the spring summer collection, so I don't expect it to really transfer into the winter anyways. But honestly, it has a really nice density to it, and the fabric is just gorgeous. The fabric has a beautiful 
beautiful slubby texture to it without being too slubby, which allows for you to wear this A with statement pieces like floral shirts, the terroir denim jacket, all types of stuff. But it also allows for the beautiful details of the pockets, of the darts, of the waistband, and even the cinch hem to all stand out on their own. Story MFG is a brand that really prides itself in the understated elegance of details and their strength in construction. There's one back pocket on the back and it's also constructed with a YKK snap button and the back waistband is darted to allow for a nice contour when it's sitting on the waist. The inside of the pant is super clean. You have a beautiful Story MFG recycled fiber tag that's distressed on purpose to give it a really nice kind of rustic look as well as a very simple care label, large 100% organic cotton made in India. And then you have a QR code that actually takes you over to a page on their website that points you in the right direction on how to care and how to make your garments last. Both the inseam and the outseam are double felled or flat felled seams, which if you're familiar with denim terms, basically that is the strongest seam that you can get. So this is meant to last. They have two pleats in the front panel of the left leg by the knee. And then you also have two pleats on the front panel of the right leg. I'm not entirely sure what this is for other than when you bend your knee, it gives you a little bit of extra slack. Either way, I just also love the way that it looks and it just provides a lot of dimension when you're wearing the garment. Then you have two cargo pockets on both sides, again, outfitted with YKK snaps. And these pockets are super spacious and the YKK snaps are super secure and the pocket is even pleated. So this way, when there's nothing in it, it falls flat. But when you put stuff inside it, it expands so much. And one of my favorite things about this pant is honestly the fit. I know I say this all the time that the fit is the favorite part of the pant. The fit is probably the most integral part to a pant for me, aside from just meeting the bare minimum requirements of construction and longevity. But basically this pant is probably the baggiest pant that I own and I can tighten the bottom with the cinch hem if I wanted to, or I could leave it open and it'll give it a little bit of a flared appearance. It's very roomy in the thigh. It's very roomy in the knee. It fits so well on the waist because of the drawstring waistband. The raw cotton just falls so beautifully and it caresses the body very well, even though it's still on the baggy or looser side. And this is just one of my favorite and most worn pants that I bought in this new season. Next up, we got the Story MFG Lush Carpenter Pant in a natural indigo chambray. And this pant on the other hand is super light, super soft, surprisingly, because I wouldn't have expected that with this super slubby texture. It honestly feels so good on the skin. It's so breathable and the shine, the feel, the look, the character of this fabric is insane. The slub of this fabric adds so much variation in the blue and it gives it almost kind of like an iridescent kind of look. And this one on the other hand actually has belt loops that believe it or not are tucked into the waistband, which you don't even see on a lot of Japanese repro jeans. That's another thing that really just reaffirms that Story MFG not only has an immense knowledge in garment construction, but also a knowledge in denim construction as well. I love the double stitching around the drawstring to make sure that it doesn't move around. And I also love how the drawstring is actually natural indigo dyed as well. We have a nice copper or zinc button. I'm not entirely sure what kind of button this is, but it's already starting to scratch up and I can't wait to see how that's gonna end up. Again, you have another beautiful YKK zipper. It's the most easy zipper to use. And you have two pleats on the front, which give a really nice kind of drapey appearance while throwing fabric around the thigh to just give off a little bit more of an easy look. Now on the back, you have a beautiful jean construction with a back yoke and double felled seams that meet at the center back, which is also a double felled seam. And to complete the construction of the whole jean inspiration, you also have patched jean pockets with bar tacking on both corners, which just adds so much character and provide that whole longevity factor that we've been talking about. And again, you have tucked in belt loops into the waistband. And this again, just reaffirms that Story MFG not only has a knowledge in garment construction, but also in denim manufacturing as well. On the bottom left, you have a gorgeous hammer loop. And the thing with this is because the fabric is so soft and so supple, I honestly wouldn't recommend actually working in these jeans because while I don't doubt that this is sewn on very well, I don't think it could handle actual labor. It's just too soft, too light, too drapey, but I honestly just love the way that it looks. Whoops, that was on the bottom left. So on the actual bottom right, you have extra pockets, much like you would see on a pair of like those Carhartt chinos or those Dickie chinos. I'm not entirely sure which one. You have two pockets with a lot of space in them, surprisingly, for a bunch of different stuff. You also have a flat felled inseam as well as a flat felled outseam. And it almost looks like it has a kind of chain stitch detail, which I'm very surprised about. And I actually didn't even notice before, but damn, that's pretty good. So I'm actually really surprised 
surprised that they went the extra mile to double fell chain stitch this inseam and they also darted the hem just to give it a little bit of a taper and while this is still supposed to be a relaxed baggy fitted jean without that darting i think it would have flared out a little too much granted i would have liked it but not everybody does but yeah all in all this is one of my favorite jeans and i just can't wait to see how it's going to fade down with wash and wear the fit is a little bit slimmer than the piece pants and it's also a little bit more cropped so i think that this pant is meant to be intentionally worn short so i love wearing it with my cowboy boots from thursday boot company and it just has that really nice drapey appearance that just moves so graciously and beautifully in the wind and it just has that really truly elegant appearance thank you guys so much for watching i really appreciate the love and support on all of my most recent videos especially the last one where we hit our 1k subscriber goal and as promised i did a full denim collection video inspired by crd and you guys really killed it on the support with that one so thank you so much and if you guys want to see the video in which i go into more detail about the story mfg sunday jacket which i just realized i forgot i talked about make sure to go check that out the link will be somewhere around here thank you guys again and i'll see you next week